Are you a fan of Pedro Jimenez finished Irish whiskeys? Yeah? <laughs> All right. Eric is. If you are, what's your favorite? We're going to review the Red Breast 2023 edition and let you know if this is our favorite. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskey. Today, going back uh, to Red Breast. That's right. Another one from the Red Breast line. This one is from the Iberian Peninsula series. Okay. So they're taking their Irish whiskey and they're finishing it in various... Uh, barrels that they source from out there. Mm -hmm. This is the 2023 release of the Red Breast Pedro Jimenez edition. I mean, if you've had any Red Breast and you like any, I mean, they're good. They're if you like Irish whiskey, yep. These are these are really good whiskeys. Uh, they they really know what they're doing. Um, Red Breast is produced out of Middleton, all owned so all, everything produced out of there, I think, is owned by uh, Pinot Ricard. Pinot Ricard. They started this series up in 2021, and they're finishing it with a, a whole bunch of, di like I said, different barrels from that they sourced from that whole area of, uh, it's like Portugal and the Spain and that that whole peninsula on the European continent. Sherry. But yeah, so this is using the Pedro Jimenez. Don't know a whole heck of a lot. Like it's not age dated. It's not any of that kind of stuff. We do know it's their pot still, so it's a blend of malted and unmalted mm -hmm. barley, and it is 92 proof, and it is very freaking expensive, <laughs> and weird pricing, regional, like regional, even in the states pricing. Uh, the MSRP is around 100 bucks. Yep. Okay, I'd spend that, like I'd buy another bottle of that for 100 dollars. I got it for 155. Okay. I was just poking around online, and uh, in Georgia it's 170, in New Jersey it's 140. Should have bought it in Jersey. So very weird how it's being priced regionally, like in the states. But I can't find it for. So Jersey was the best price at 140 in the states, as far as I could find. So it's got like all the Irish whiskey things of the light. Honey, little malt with this like Hint grapey, dark fruit, dark fruit, very nice nose. But all I remember is the palate is just that much it better. It smells like it's got a little bit of proof to it, but it's only what, 92? 92? Yeah. It's just a dessert in a glass. It's really, It really oh. is. It really is. It's got, again, so the honey notes come through. The shortbread type note of the malt comes through. And, and the, think of great. shortbread covered in jam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's what it is. It's, it's a very shortbread with like thick, honey thick and jam. Sweet. I mean, it, it really is. It's such it's such a nice and light. And again, on the nose, the proof is a little apparent. No, not, a, not, not on, on the, the palate. palate. You know, like there's no harshness. There's no burn. It's just really sweet and enjoyable whiskey. Not to me. It's not grossly sweet. It's not like candied or anything like that. It's just like sweetness, which mm. is funny compared to that, the, what was it? The Lotsau, Red Breast, the Lotsau one. Mm. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> like it ranked horribly for us. Like when we did a blind ranking of all mm -hmm. the Irish ones, it did not, it ranked fourth place. This one is really, really nice. Big price difference between those two. Uh, yeah. I'm just I'm curious. Does it say how long? They... Nothing that I could find said how long they put it in the... So it goes through all their normal process. So that's the thing. So it is... I'm going to say... It's probably... Say it's Red Best 12. Mm -hmm. Right? I know it's not age stated or anything like that. But it goes through all the normal process. Mm -hmm. That So they use... Uh, uh, what? Ex-Bourbon cast. Ex-Bourbon and ex-Sherry cast is how they do their normal aging. And then... They finished it in a Pedro Jimenez barrel. I don't know how long. I'm gonna say is it, that there's an impact. There's a huge impact. Yeah, like it wasn't impact. just it, a it wasn't in that for a hot minute. No, no. no. I Especially it, I, in that climate. I, I think it stayed in there for a, months, nine, yeah. twelve, nine, twelve months at least would be my initial guess, but nothing I could find actually gave a how long. Let's just say they did it for nine months. That would have been really interesting to taste it each month. 
as it's progressing through. And, yeah. and then like, oh, it's ready. Yep, time to do that. Because I'm gonna, I feel like it may have been in there a little too long. I feel too like much impact. Too much impact. A little lighter. I think water is gonna make this one better. I think water is gonna just, yeah, kind of make some of the sweetness explode. The only thing I wish, like I wish that the malt popped a little bit more. Yeah. It does get a little like a overly like fruity. Your traditional uh, Irish whiskey. Yeah. I, I wish that showed up a little bit more. So maybe that's what the water will do. Let's see. Well, it, it muted the sherry. Oh, I'm kind of getting the the pot still spice on the nose. Yeah, I like it better. Really? You're getting more of that Irish whiskey. Yeah. It kind of lost something to me. It lost a lot of the sherry. Well, then you probably should have just bought Red Best 12, you right? Get you, a hint, you get a hint where it was so forward. <laughs> it was very aggressively sherry forward, yeah. It definitely changed it. I, my opinion, I prefer it neat. If I wanted to, I, I wanted to still have, I wanted to still have a very present I, impact. The, the, yeah, PX. the impact is still there for me. It definitely aftertaste. Mm. It's just, it, the nose, I think, I think it just completely muted it. It muted it, yeah. And, and to me, it's I still, think it muted the palate a little bit. The palate is still really sweet, but now you get, I guess you get more of the Irish whiskey. It just didn't quite do what I was hoping. Now I'm curious if you did the same drop of water, two drops of water, but you gave yourself a full pour. Or a chain. Right. So it less be, water to whiskey impact. It yeah. would probably be a happy medium. Probably. Probably true. Yeah. Where you'd still have a nice sherry impact a more apparent sherry impact mm-hmm. and start to open up some of the traditional Irish notes Yeah. or red breast notes that, you know, I love the 12 and the 12 cast strength is magical even. I think it's the nose that's throwing me off. I get more of a spice on the back end and then it just gets really sweet and then the aftertaste is all sherry. I mean, overall, it's, it's good. It's, it's a solid, it's still oh, a solid. Oh, it's great. It's, it's a great bottle. It's overpriced at $150. At $100, that's pretty reasonable. If I knew it was 15 years or something like that, like then we can start to have a conversation. If it was cash drink, then we can start to have a conversation of $150. It's just interesting that some places are basically already selling it to secondary market, yeah. secondary prices. Yeah, it was. Yeah, like I said, I, I looked here at our total wine. I just that's what I, I that's what I do now. Like I just <laughs> just to try to see. So I look at my total, the, our total wine here. Uh, just outside Nashville, I look at Atlanta area, and I look at Jersey area, and just to see like pricing differences, and that's probably one of the most drastic. Let me guess, how many bottles did they release? My guess is it's pretty limited. So I know the 2021 one was super limited, and then it's gotten a little bit more in volume, but this is the first time I've ever seen it. Yeah. So now it actually made it to this area. At 100 bucks, I'd buy it. Yep. 150, you got really, really like sherry or really, really like red breast to pull that trigger. I just feel like this is like total dessert. Like what would I, what, what what dessert would I eat with it? Well, um, to me, it's it's. I want to say like a cobbler or like a something that's bready and fruity. Yeah, like a cobbler, a scone. Mm-hmm. I could definitely see a scone going with this. A scoop of ice cream, vanilla ice cream. There's a lot of like the honey note is starting to come through on the top. For me. A little bit. Uh, which I did not get at all on the neat. A little bit. You're going to stick your nose down in there, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, do. Yeah. Solid bottle. Solid bottle. Thank you for splurging. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, again, to your point. I read the price tag wrong, just as an FYI. <laughs> what do you think? Is it 105 uh, No. no I, it was sitting <laughs> under... There was a... It, there was a price tag there, but it wasn't for that bottle. It was for a different bottle. So. And when you get to the register, you came like, oh, I was just, oh, no. I'm like, yeah, well, no, I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, right? This line, uh, I, I love drinking it. Uh, they're great. Yep. I mean, so many of what they've put out is really, really good. The Literally the worst one that I've had is the Lutzow, and it's not bad. It's just not nearly as good as the rest of them. They yeah. really put out a quality product. Yeah, like I've said, you, I don't think you can go wrong with any of the red breasts. No. I mean, no. some are going to be better than others, but yeah. just from overall, overall, like you, you, I would be shocked if someone came and says, I hate red breasts. I think it's terrible. Uh, you're out of your mind. Yeah. 
your <laughs> off your rocker. If, Absolutely. If, that, if that's your opinion about red breast, again, that's our opinion, but we'd, we'd say that to you if you, <laughs> yeah. if you comment on this. We're you can comment. have your own opinion, <laughs> but you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> so, well, again, thank you for splurging. Yeah. Uh, it was a very tasty pour. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed our review of the 2023 Red Breast PX edition. If you did, as always, we're trying to grow the channel. Uh, with each episode, we encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And right up here, we'll link. Uh, oh, we'll link to the cash drink. I think we're going to do the Red Breast cash drink because I, I mean, it's proof-wise definitely different, but. Uh, you know that you start to get more of the barrel impacts when it's cast right so mm -hmm. we'll do that as the comparison i yep. like it all right well thanks for watching see you next episode cheers, cheers.